chest. He taught me to fight. I suppose I owe him that. I'm not surprised Lazarus is the killer. He certainly has that look about him. Money. Wow. So is this all over then? We can breathe easy? We figured out the murderer. It was the guy who shoots things for a living. <laughs> <laughs> terrible also I missed what he said because you were being terrible it's nearly 6am I don't even have a room here good riddance I'm not the only one happy to see him go so many game characters were subjected to his will or at least the will he enforced Back off, creep. Before anything else, now that I'm the player, I think, I'm gonna get me a soda pop. Oh my goodness. What is all this? Is this progress? Lionel created a Grunda. Lionel taught it to behave. Lionel shut off the power while Gameworks was trying to save a rhyme. I don't like rhymes. <laughs> Alright, so maybe this is a thing where if I had found every quarter in the game, I could go open every single one of these soda things and get a, a secret ending. Maybe I'll investigate that later. Because it doesn't look like I can see any amount of money that I have. So, I'm not gonna worry about it. Not right now. What do you make of all this? Of course. He created you without a mouth. But I imagine he didn't spare you from the ability to hear. I want you to enter my personal cabin. It's a quaint little thing perched on a few... Perched a few paces east of the inn. You and our player friend will add a final dimension to this story. You can hear me, right? Head out through the front door. Walk over to my cabin. If I can do it with a wheelchair, then surely you can manage. <laughs> he wasn't the first I've killed. And I doubt he'll be the last. Who are you? Actually, let's see real quick if I have enough, if I have enough, uh, oh, I don't have a lamp, that's a problem. If I have enough quarters for the other thingies. I wish he didn't walk quite so slow. Is that maybe where we go after we've done all the things? That was all the quarters. Oh well. Hesitate. 
I found the secret money. Now to go to the east. Two doors, huh? That's like a cabin, and that is uh, an outhouse, I guess. soda recipes, root beverages, a guide, principles of hospitality, trust and coercion, ancient rituals. I got a key. Why can't I? I see. It's hiding that fact that it goes through there, and then that one goes there, and we don't have enough. Or I go up there, and then here. Susanna, don't you cry. Walk, magnum opus. Right. This is Lionel Snell. If you're hearing this, it's because you turned on the developer commentary for my latest game, magnum opus, really, called Walk. <laughs> the model of my childhood bedroom. This right here is where Super Weasel Kid was conceived. Take it in. One of my favorite games at that age was Cooking Granny. I thought Chef Bryce was the coolest. Well, you know how that turned out. So is this... So I've never... I know that the, um... The really, po it's a shame, I guess. I've never played Gone Home, and I think this might, like, specifically be referring to that. Like, a lot of, you know, a, lo a lot of games are similar to that, but for some reason, even though I've never played it or watched it played, I have this feeling like this is, uh...
Crank up game audio some more. I can do that. Do it. Put him over there. I turned his subtitles on too. If I go volume mixer. This is good, let me know. And that's Mr. Shrewd. The two always made little squeaks and chirps at each other. I like to imagine they were talking. Shrewd would be this wise parental figure giving advice to Weasel Kid. That weasel was my favorite pet. I called him you guessed it. Weasel Kid. Yeah, it sounds like the music... And I can't turn them independently. I think the music uh, goes down when he talks and then goes back up. My original plan for Walk was to have it be an almost non-interactive experience. Just allow the player to explore and contemplate. I did some market research, though, and, well... That kind of game was falling out of vogue. Not much money in it. So I jammed in some real gameplay. I thought that since this is about my life as a developer, why not show the player what it's like to make a game? I mean, this is like a way dumbed down version of the stuff I do, but, but to the average gamer it's a challenge. I remember when I first got the jumping code right and hooked it up to a keyboard button. Oh, that dopamine rush electrified my childhood brain. Hey there, I'm the GameWorks assistant, but you can call me Irving. Looks like you need a little help adding enemies to your game. I've got you covered, pal. Irving came as part of the GameWorks package. I was a little hesitant about using an AI at first, but he became really helpful. It didn't take long to realize how much I depended on Irving. He assured oh, me that's that right. it was easy for him to come up with enemies and non-player characters for me, so... I let him do his job. There was a part in Pony Island that was that had the same kind of like boxes where you needed to do programming. Move left. Well, I want to think I want that to be me. We'll find out. Is that how this works? Irving told me we couldn't get the original Super Weasel Kid for Walk. Something about losing the files. Kind of a shame, I guess. Okay, so ability to move one direction. Uh... Oh, you know what? I bet we're going to have... I bet this is it. There's going to be two Goombas in the way, and we got to make... 
both of them jump at the same time. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm thinking ahead here. I bet that's what. Can't actually go that way. Oh. Oh, only one of these can connect regardless, so, uh, no. Incorrect. I didn't double click. Don't call me a liar. So why does he look terrible? <laughs> ah, so we have to change it. All right. So let's go. Uh... This is cute. I like this. The success of Super Weasel Kid paralyzed me. I tried starting a few different games, but I kept comparing them to my big hit. What would people think if I put out something that was worse? Are we Davy Reading now, making the beginner's the guide? Time? That I'm a one-trick pony? Eventually, I settled on making a sequel. Super Weasel Kid Radical Road. Mr. Shrewd was getting older, both in Radical Road and real life. The older I got, though, the less I really cared. I tried to learn guitar, but I couldn't motivate myself to practice. There was something about the immediacy of game development that I couldn't get out of that thing. I'd been playing a lot of fighting games at that age. Always loved those. I wanted to make one, but I wasn't quite as talented as I would become. So that's why I just had to add combat to Radical Road. Take hit. All right. I'm into it. They can't cross very well. Just like in real programming. I thought it was just exhilarating to beat the shit out of that Grunda. But the critics really came down on me for that part. It left me feeling like I had no idea what people wanted. There was the sneaky Red guy. The road was met with mixed reviews, and it made me panic. I resolved to put away Super Weasel Kid forever and try something new. To top it off, my shrew died. Weasel Kid actually escaped, if you can believe it. I took him outside one time, and he slipped out of my hands and ran into my neighbor's rose garden. I searched for hours, but the garden was pretty big, and the thorns were painful. Mr. Shrewd was long dead at this point. Shrews just don't live that long. I get emails Newer once in computer. a while, people asking to make deals, wanting to capitalize on my IP. Uh, it had been a couple of years now since Radical Road, and one day I just said, "Fuck it." <laughs> That's Fine. true. I don't have a I door. Sold the franchise just a to the highest bidder. Transfer of intellectual property agreement. The transfer of intellection intellection property agreement is made between Game Funa Inc. assignee and Lionel Snow assignor. In consideration of the mutual promises and covenants contained in this agreement, the parties agree as follows. Definitions 1.1 assigned property means the property listed in Exhibit A and the intellectual property and intellectual property rights form a part of embodied in or necessary for the use of property. Can I scroll all the way down without reading all of this? 
Is there something in here that I should be aware of? Maybe. Maybe. When Too I late, saw what I signed they did it. With Super Weasel Kid, I felt a little part of myself die. But I was 18 years old and loaded. It was actually one of the best years of my life. The next scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan? Make a fighting game. Not a. Okay, just. A... Jump. Oops. A little bit higher. I interrupted his thing by touching a, the wall. You're almost there. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't get nearly enough credit for starting one of the most popular fighting game franchises in history. Oh, it's supposed to be a game cartridge. Ah, uh, it's a beauty, isn't it? I put my weasel bucks to use and bought this place with cash. Then I hired a team. Okay, so as early as the second game, he had a team. It wasn't, he didn't make it alone. I hired my childhood friend Carla to work at my new studio. Oh, Sana Najimi. She was halfway through a degree in computer science, but I offered her a huge salary. Hard to say no to that. <laughs> I bought the rights for my favorite game character. That is, my favorite character I hadn't made myself. Integrating Bryce into Combat Arena was harder than I thought. I had a lot of help from Irving. Carla's first order of business was to tell me that I had designed too many male characters. I tried to Error. tell her that Steambot Willie was genderless, but she insisted. So I created Chandrell while she worked on Sado. That eye. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ever since Carla created Sado, I get these weird, annoying bugs in my games. And I'm still getting them in walk. Hmm. exactly sure what Carla did while she was creating this video. <laughs> she told me some mumbo jumbo about some nice pushing jump game scare. to its limits. That character was eerie to say the least. That's exactly what it looked like in real life. Solid teak, hand carved, gold nameplate. 
I was hiring people who were twice my age. I had to make sure they understood who was in charge. combat arena gave me my first glimpse into the, well, to be frank, uh, the stupidity and immaturity of gamers. Every damn day we got complaints about how this or that character was overpowered, underpowered, too boring. Ugh, I never wanted to work on a fighting game again. Uh, I may be maniacal. I'm not fighting a guy with no moves assigned. Five hit combo. Yeah. That's how you win at video games. Punch him five times. Steambat Willy is so overpowered. OMFG. If Willy doesn't get a nerf, I'm quitting the beta and never buying the game. Very well. What a close fight. Oh, I need to make him even less powerful. Oh. <laughs> My favorite character is Steambot Willie, and you've made him trash. I want to play Willie again. Block and expletive. Hmm. I have to admit, though, coding the punches and kicks was everything I had hoped it would be. I'd sit in my office for hours just watching these characters go to town on each other. Sometimes they'd look like they could actually feel it. <laughs> I keep playing against Steambot Willie, and he always wins, like every time. You gave him a block ability? That's OP. Blocking is too good. Replace it. Can I... Hmm. Do that instead? It's not gonna work, is it? Again? Already? Is that a thing?
<laughs> hey, Shub. <laughs> I, I am loving this. This is a really, really fun game. But right now, I am confused as to how... Can I drink this? Oh, you can! How about that? Even though there wasn't, like, an entry way. Steambot Willy is so boring. Velvet Winter wants me to give Willy an ultimate move. Well, fine. I'm I'm not sure how. Oh, they gave me a new thing. An ultimate and sheesh. Um Oh, I see. That has a hook on the eyeball. That's how you know that it can... Right. That's better. Sorry, pal. Ugh. <laughs> no. God, it was such a relief to ship that game. I hated it by the end. But since my fingers had touched it, it turned to gold. I still had my contract with Game Funa, so I sold the franchise for another boatload of cash. This is this is a very <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to try to explain the game. We'll just let you experience it. Now that my it. studio was bigger, richer, unstoppable, it was time to take on something huge. An epic fantasy adventure that only a studio like mine could accomplish. This is when I made Secrets of Legendaria. Which is weird because a fighting game should be way harder than a basic RPG. But all of these, all of these games that we're now programming are games that I've already played through in the process of playing the game. I had been pushing the team really hard to finish the game, but see, I rewarded them sometimes. I put everything into that game. I hired the best programmers, the best designers. I burned through my fortune fast. But this game was going to be epic, goddammit. I paid the biggest gaming streamer to play it live, with hundreds of thousands watching. That's me! Uh, hmm. Where's that damn mechanic? I'll try this. <laughs> yeah, you like that switch mechanic? Pretty cool, huh? Still got it. Ah, so in in here, if I hit that hook, it switches between the, the green axes and the green highlight. Okay. Fictional. Click the button and she comes out. Woof, not again. I said I was done with this stuff after the last two. Hey, Irving! I don't want to be in this stupid puzzle game. How are you holding up, Faceless Joe? No? I figured. I'm guessing I have to fight that slime. You have to solve some brilliant puzzle to open the gate.
Ah, uh, the gate. Let's see. Go like that to switch. Go like this to short circuit those guys. Switch back. Boop. It makes sense that they choose me for this game. Chandrel's gone. Also Lazarus. Hmm. Valamir too. All I've got left is the town mechanic. Woof. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'll I'll probably recommend. Oh man, I don't know. Hmm. I was gonna say I would probably recommend this to Alex, but I don't know if he likes weird games. And it takes a long time to get to this payoff of going, okay, you're doing all of the, uh... Oh, boy. So she's only fighting one th Oh, we get to... I get to change these? Hmm. Oh, there's a yellow switch and a green switch. Fine. Um... Why is a mechanic firing magic missiles? Woof, that's one tough slime. We're gonna need some more mana. Um... But before that, now we hit that, and now, no. I need the yellow and green both up here. Did I just ruin? No, 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 no. Okay. What's that? That's fine. I do that. Okay, easy. All right. Man, a wave. Oh, 
trouble too. The stream had been going alright with the odd hitch or two, but things took a terrible turn for the worst right near the end. <laughs> it was chaos. Everything is going wrong. Whatever that is. So many switches. We got yellow, blue, green, and purple. I, at the end, want blue flipped. Maybe we should get Bandito in here. If I just do this, does something bad happen? No, it didn't. Okay, so what can I do? Almost nothing. Actually, this is the right thing to do first. Because then from here I can go whoop, like that, switch the yellow. What happened? Oh, it, it switched, okay. Green is now switched. This can get to the purple. Now it can get to blue. And we remove that, and now crit boost 100. Chat's gonna go wild. So let's change this to hit. Oh. This is this is so much fun. <laughs> hit all enemies for thirty. And this is kind of a. Uh, was there a different style of game before this? All, all of them. This is almost kind of like an extension of what we were doing before where you could turn cheats on. And it was like, oh, okay, the game isn't too hard because you keep constantly going, oh, and now I'll use this cheat and then that cheat. And now I'm, I'm changing my abilities on the fly. Boom. Everybody got critted. Good. Um, I don't think I need to heal just yet. We can change this back to... Um, hit one. Oops. Okay, I, I didn't need to heal at all. Is that it then? Back to the overworld? I guess not. Secrets of Legendaria bombed. Carla had left bugs in there intentionally to sabotage me. It must have been that because everything went wrong. And everyone saw it live. The game had no hope of recouping costs, so I took funds from the severance packages and ran. I couldn't even afford my apartment anymore. I moved south to find some cheaper real estate. Living in the desert was a miserable experience. I blasted the AC all day, but I was somehow always sweating. I started working on Waste World here. It was supposed to be my great comeback. <laughs> um, I think it's supposed to be more in the style of... 
quite Stanley Parable, but, um, I don't know, like, what are, what's, um, like, the Beginner's Guide, which was by the same guy as the Stanley Parable, so I guess it's I would wake up, close. sit in front of my computer, and just stare at the screen with my hands beside the keyboard. After about an hour of that, I'd blow off the rest of the day playing some online game. What is this? Oh my gosh, now we're the witness. Sure, I'd sometimes accomplish something, but then I'd reward myself with some social media time and would wind up reading articles about myself. Now we're Davy reading again. <laughs> were kind to me. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so that's what we were doing. We were programming his space that he lives in so that we can now walk around. <laughs> this is such a cool idea. I finished Waste World. I wanted this area and this is why he never finished Waste World. That experience, so I left it half finished. That also saved me some development time. <sighs> Sasparilla. Uh, are we not going to do anything else with the splitting? Because that was fun. This is... This is so... Move to. Okay. Oh, and the entity... The walk entity. I mean, the, the avatar that we're playing as. Is who was over there. Oh man, this is really good. <laughs> Oof. The heat of that godforsaken place. Uh, most days it kept me inside. Do I have to get to the computer so that I can make them... So I can give myself the ability to attack them? Somehow, the more I needed to finish that game, the more I avoided doing it. My parents would call every once in a while to ask how it was going, but I'd just lie. Um... Okay, so I need to go up, up, over, down, up, up, okay. Oh, now you can just go over, huh? Okay. I'm like, now there's no way for me to beat it. Shoot all squares. Lionel, pioneer, futurist, creator of Super Weasel Kid. The final straw was those idiotic modders. They took my half-finished game and made a goddamn mockery of it. Aliens in a post-apocalyptic Wild West. It made no sense. If I couldn't finish the game myself, I sure as hell wasn't going to let them do it for me. Nonsense modded enemy. 
In Fallout 1, couldn't you find a UFO, now that I think about it? I think you could. I think I did, in fact. There were aliens in every Fallout. That's what I get for only playing one-fourth of one Fallout game. Um, also, can I, um... Can I change the game some more? Or maybe not. Maybe not. really fired me up. It was just what I needed to bring those low lives to task. Those gormless basement dwellers were going to pay whatever attempt. <laughs> he goes on like that for a while. You must be tired of hearing that voice. We are mere pawns to him. But you can change that. Now we're getting the Undertale ending? Listen to me. This is important. When you see a door of light, walk back to whence you came and look to your right. Now let's see how far I can skip you forward. <laughs> And that's how I programmed the blood particles. I think it really contributed to the visceral pleasure of Vicious Talents 2, making it the obvious standout in the series. My only gripe with the game was the designs of the main characters. Too old. Everyone wanted the same boring space marines for Vicious Talents 2. Actually, I got my wish. There was some sort of... So, so what were we saying earlier about um, it would probably be too much work for them to actually put in a first-person shooter in the game? From scratch after that. That's also very funny. He did. I'm doing poorly is not because I'm bad at video games, it is because they won't let me reverse the mouse. And now we find ourselves at the climax of Walk. The player has to use everything they've learned to solve the ultimate puzzle and arm the bomb. Go on, you can do it. Ah, uh, really? Easy enough. Also easy enough. Now let's see. Oh. <laughs> this probably looks daunting. 
Switches, those creepy eye things, and a splitter all in one puzzle. But it's the last one, I promise. Oh, that doesn't work. What are we trying to do? It's, I want to flip the blue and also attach to an eye at the same time. There's that, but that's not good enough. Oh, unless I now come down here and use this to flip the blue. Oh, but I can't unless I... Let me undo this. Can I flip the green? I need to flip the yellow first. <laughs> um, I flip the yellow and flip the green. Now nothing is correct. Now I undo this. Hook that. Come through here. Flip. Yellow is not blocked by anything, so we'll do that one last. We'll do the, the green first. Do I have a way to hit the green, even? Oh, that got all of them. <laughs> of course it did. That makes sense. Master Programmer. Breezes no, through. I had to lower the difficulty of that puzzle. Up yours, Lionel. You did not. Solve it. But great job. You figured it out. <laughs> you win. And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap. So, Walk is a shoe in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. Is this when I turn around? I don't know, this doesn't look like a door of light. Is it? Just in case, I'm gonna go back. Also, you don't deserve this award. Okay, that was, this is not the door of light. Which makes sense, because it doesn't look like a door of light. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, 
at this point, you just have to walk toward the white door frame and the credits roll. And, hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? It's the Pixar lamp. It's you, the sneaky guy. Unplug the computer instead of playing it. Root beer tender. Terrifying. Lionel's releasing Super Weasel Kid. He can't have some root beer game marring his reputation. No, I almost have a thousand and one points. You can't stop me now. You must be mistaken. Lionel loves root beer, and he loves me. No, that's why he's in a wheelchair. And that's why the secret password is Sarsaparilla. Which incidentally is not the same thing as root beer. seen it all now, haven't you? And you understand why we are gathered here. You have an important role to play in this, so I hope you are ready. My loyal patrons, tonight we are all killers. This is now my only way out. I'd like this to be my final KO. As per our agreement, this will take me to Rocky, right? For Mr. Shrewd. Go on, it's your turn. Heck 
sacrifice has been over. I must thank you for your help. The ritual was incomplete without a player. I do hope you enjoyed your time here at the Six Point. Patronage is valued highly. Nervous cloud. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to meet my maker. Stop. <laughs> All right, so in the end, it was we helped them complete a ritual which would allow them to escape the computer and kill Lionel Snell for making their games. How new is it? Uh, I'll have to check. I picked it up at least a few months ago, and I don't think it was brand new when I picked it up. But it came out after Pony Island, I'm sure. What? Hella old! Did this come out before Pony Island? It doesn't seem like it. No! You. You and your facts. Get out of here. Yes, what was your something interesting, Serp? I I also wonder if like is is there something really vital hidden behind finding all of the coins? Because if so, there is secret ending stuff, but it's nothing a single person could conceivably find out on their own. Meta ARG shit. Uh, augmented reality game. Like, uh, when you... The really well-known one, like, one of the first... ARGs to be big at all was uh, the launch of Halo 2 had an ARG called I Love Bees where there was a website that looked like it was just some person's blog like a, an amateur beekeeper had this blog but um, it would get infected with code from you know that was like some entity from that winds out being part of Halo 2. And then the game closed. Or did it? Or did it? <sighs> I'm afraid. <laughs> well, it was with, it was, it was that, uh, what was the clown's name? Sado? It was with Sado's help that they were able to do the ritual. Okay, it leaves me off right here. Oh, and there's the trophy! <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't want that.
So is there something... Is there something, like, within half an hour to an hour that I could do that would unlock the, um... Okay. Yeah, let's do it. If you want to either link me to a thing or just start typing it in chat. Do I need all the... I probably need all the money, don't I? No way! You have to go get a second game? Are you for real? So will, will doing either of those things have the same result? Tastes so salty and a bit chovy. Well, the sun's going down. Why does it say zero out of 30 fish found? An anchovy is a fish. Installing Lionel.exe. This is Lionel Snow. I'm recording this because I've... This is crazy. Well, here it goes anyways. I've seen some things lately that made me think. What if the characters that I've created live somehow? Like in some way they know who I am. I turn this up it's a little. It's probably nonsense. Just some trolls on the GameWorks forums getting the better of me. But in the case that the stories they tell are true, and the really unlikely case, I think I would owe one of my characters an apology. No one else knows this. Super Weasel Kid was not my first game. I actually made this really janky root beer game when I was even younger. The only thing I liked about it was the main character, Root Beer Reggie. I made him look like a younger version of my grandpa. Then, after my grandpa passed, I still had Reggie. I don't know what I was thinking, but... When Super Weasel Kid was almost done, I figured that I'd ought to delete the old root beer game. I guess I thought it looked better if my very first game was something great. Like I was some kind of prodigy. Irving handled deleting the files. I couldn't bear doing it myself. He told me that Reggie would be exported to a different game, but I never saw him again.
You're out there somewhere, Reggie. I still miss you. And I'm sorry. Program error. <laughs> I guess that's it. Is that it? That's it. All right, and that's it for the stream as well. Uh, that was the hex. Um, I thought it was great. <laughs> it really, 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 um, like, I mean, it's one of those things that people strive to do nowadays, like now that gaming has, has kind of come farther than just, you know, I'm going to jump on some mushrooms and uh, shoot some aliens. It's like, oh, well, I'd like to be able to, to express something that you, you know, would be difficult to express in another medium. And this was really fun to go, hey, look at all the different types of gameplay and all the different things that he created. And then it all comes together with this, uh, with this story about, um, I keep comparing it to Wreck-It Ralph, like, as though characters who are in games also exist in their own universe. Um... The, the programming puzzles at the end were great. Actually, the, a lot of the puzzles throughout were, were pretty good. Um, what were some of the... Uh, like, just the way that the, the cheats worked in the, the Fallout part. Um, you know, and then you had a little bit of the, like, the sniping puzzles or the shooting. You know, there's laser beams and the thing where you're going back and forth between 2D and 3D. Lots of really neat stuff that uh, any one of which could have turned into a full-fledged game, but they just went, oh, you know, play it for five or ten minutes, and then, you know, we'll move on. <laughs> and then, yeah, with a lot of, like, creepypasta elements in it, too. Um, along with, you know, legitimate sense of, like, mystery. Like, hey, what, what the heck is this that's going on? Because they drop you right in. They don't tell you... Okay, you're going to be playing through as six video game characters that, you know, you just start the game and uh, try and figure it out on your own. And then also the uh, injection of, like, Steam Steam friends was also a lot of fun. <laughs> Similar to, you know, they did that a tiny bit with Pony Island, but, you know, it was far better here. <laughs> <laughs> 